series I learned how to save a game but during my game there were a lot of thoughts and variations that I was thinking of. I wonder if there's a way I can annotate them? Well annotating games in chess base is one of the major features of the software uh, so I'm sure Avtanshu you can do that in the best possible way on chess base 15. Now let me first begin with the same game that I saved in the first part. All those who have missed the first part of the video series, please watch that. It was about how to save your games. And now in part 2, we are going to see on how to annotate your saved games. So I'm going to open my annotated games database. You can see the game that I had saved here. I open it and it's just bare moves. So after d4, d5, c4, e6 knight c3 c6 now at this point i was very very surprised that my opponent went for this triangle variation you know this triangle over here so the thing which was going on in my mind was should i play it safe with the move e3 over here or should i play knight f3 or should i play e4 now this thought which is going on in the head during the game should be put down in your chess base uh, 15 into your database because this is going to be useful in future so I can just go over here and either double click the move c6 and the dialog box opens or I can press ctrl plus a which means annotations now, after pressing ctrl plus a I can write here at this point I was extremely surprised with my opponent's choice because he had never played this before. I was wondering if I should play knight f3 here or e3 but finally decided on the move e4. Now I played the move e4 and after d into e4, knight into e4, this is the position that we reached. Now if you look at over here after the move c6 when I did control a and I put in my analysis, it comes as text afterwards. So that's how your text comes into your notations and here my opponent played the move knight to f6. The main move in this position is bishop to b4 check. Now you will see that bishop b4 when I made this move it comes as a new variation so your main line becomes dark which is the main uh, game and after bishop d2 the line which continues is bishop takes b4 queen takes e4 and bishop e2 knight a6 and this is how it becomes very very complex variation so I can just end up here this is one of the main lines and a complex variation in chess opening theory. Okay, let's go back to the game. After knight f6, I took on f6. Oops, sorry. I took knight takes f6, and instead of taking with the queen here, uh, my opponent took with the pawn. And I think this was not such a great move and I want to show it in terms of symbols. Now in chess you don't always have to write words. There is something known as symbols. So chess base 15 gives you very easy use of symbols on the bottom uh, line over here. You can find all the symbols here like double exclamation means a great move, single exclamation is a good move. A uh, single exclamation and a question mark is interesting move. A question mark and an exclamation is dubious move. Uh, and a question mark is a bad move. Double question mark is very bad move. So this is how you can give specific evaluations to a move. You know, you can say whether it's a good move or not. According to me, G into F6 is a dubious move. So I'll put over here question mark and exclamation mark. Now there is also one more way in which you can 
get these uh, symbols and that is by pressing shift plus one if you press shift plus one then this entire thing comes up and you can press on the dubious sign uh, the, the power users of chess bays always like keyboard shortcuts rather than something where they have to click because they are so used to it so I think shift plus one is how most of the grandmasters do it knight f3 c5 d5 e5 and I played this move queen c2 which seemed very interesting to me during the game I can put the interesting mark here so I did shift one and played uh, put the exclamation plus question mark and I want to explain the idea behind this move so I would write this move was made because I wanted to control the light squares in the position okay now once you write this you want to show how the light squares are being controlled so you can actually make arrows in on chess base if you hold down the alt key and you make a line from c2 to h7 you will get the green color on the board now if you press near uh, somewhere outside the board over here you can see i'm pressing over here then the color goes off now if i press shift plus alt and make this sign it will be a red arrow a red arrow is usually shown for threat and if i press control plus alt it will show me a yellow arrow so you are basically having an option of three colors alt gives you green control plus alt gives you yellow and shift plus alt gives you red i want to show queen c2 controls this entire diagonal so i would put a green arrow here that the queen is well placed i can even press the queen on c2 showing that it is well placed it shows and uh, it marks the square now knight a6 this was played with the idea of coming to b4 I play a3 over here stopping the knight to come to b4 and my opponent played the move queen d7 now once again this is a dubious move so I do shift plus one and go to the dubious sign or I could have done it right from here uh, in the annotation palette below now bishop d2 once again a nice move the point is I want to put my bishop on c3 so I make an arrow there and the idea is to play the bishop to c3 so that it attacks the <coughs> e5 pawn and makes f5 difficult to execute this was the main idea now my opponent played queen g4 which is already a bad move I think this is already a big mistake so I am going to give it a question mark here h3 pushing the queen away queen g6 and I think now this is a good move bishop d3 developing with a tempo uh, so I put an exclamation mark queen takes g2 and king e2 was played in this position as you already know from the first lecture uh, my opponent resigned the game over here my opponent resigned now uh, you want to show why did he resign this game so I'm going to play press control and I'm going to move my king up to e2 so that gives me an option whether I want to make a new variation a new main line overwrite insert I'm going to choose new variation now this feature of control plus making a move uh, was helps you to actually determine whether you want to make a new line or not uh, we'll come to it later but king e2 essentially is now a variation and I threaten now the rook coming to g1 and if the queen goes to g8 rook g1 bishop h6 and bishop g7 and bishop h6 you win a piece so this is how white is winning now if you want to show how white is winning in a position you need to give symbols so here you have winning for white plus minus if you do plus by minus it is white is better 
plus equal is slightly better for white equal means it's an equal position and if you invert all of this equal plus is slightly better for black minus plus is black is better and minus plus separate means black wins so in this position I'm going to put plus minus also after king e2 I'm going to put plus minus and this is how you see over here I have beautifully annotated my game I'm going to press control plus s now so it asks me should I replace the game and I say okay I'm happy with you replacing I can also press control s by the way and there is an annotator plus teams button here I can write the name of the annotator it's me Sagar Shah so you can see the name of the annotator coming here I, when I close this you will be able to see that the game here now has a VCS mark over here and that is how my dear friends you analyze and annotate a game in chess base 15. Mm -hmm.